You are one saucy beast. Max is being attacked! Hey, God. draws his bow and shoots an arrow into the one you love. I will destroy this evil killer. Settle down. The world, Gark, is a cruel, hard-hearted place. It's up to us romantics to fight for love, to wage war for affection, which is why yours truly has a date. <laughs> With who? Uh, nobody in particular. <laughs> you wouldn't know her. <laughs> Ransford! <laughs> I really hate that you can do that. <sighs> yes, Ransford. No, you see, I've decided that in the spirit of St. Valentine's Day, I'll give her the chance she's always longed for. A date with me. <gasps> 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 Taking your dancing, Max! Oh, no, not today! I can feel them all over me, crawling around, nibbling my skin, having tiny dinner parties! <laughs> I'm confused in a lot of ways right now! I've got fleas, Gar! <laughs> I'm infected! I've got kitty cooties! No one survives that! <laughs> I'm gonna die alone in a trash can! Not completely alone! You'll have your fleas! Go away! Shoot! Ah! Did I get it? No! <laughs> Looks like no Valentine's Day for poor Max this year. Sorry, Ransford. I guess it's just you and I. Huh? Duck? Down here, Max. On your elbow. Duck? Hmm? I'll hunt down the fleas, Max. You go to Ransford. But... Go to her, Max! Go to her! Oh, you're a good friend, Gark. I might just invite you to the wedding. I smell... trouble. And... alone? Well, hello! Two minutes late. Not a good start, Max. I almost left. No, no, sorry! <laughs> I had to take care of my fleet! Your fleet! Your fleet? Yeah, fleet of ships, ships of romance. I'm the captain. <sighs> Are you keeping score? Of course. How, how am I doing? <gasps> ah! I'm, uh, uh, dancing. <gasps> uh, join me. I've got you now. <laughs> when I agreed to go on a date with you, I distinctly said no weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fleas are out there! Show yourselves! Got it out! <laughs> You're not bad, Max. I mean, I've had enough. Are we done now? <gasps> Report, I have driven all fleas into a cave and I'm moving in. Over. Cave? Ooh, better not be what I think it is. Who were you talking to? Just myself. I was working on a poem for you. Let's hope it's good. <sighs> All of you, come out now! Fine. Have a 
it your way. <laughs> Cat food is sweet, and so are your feet. Let's dance to... <laughs> Didn't really <sighs> rhyme, did it? <sighs> Ooh, I'm okay. Right, good news. I'm gonna go sit in the sun. I guess you can join me. All right, all right, big fella. You got me. You? Where are the others? It's just me, man. Oh, this stuff leave you on the fly so low. Kinda like you, I reckon I'm a right big guy. Oh, Joe, they call me Jojo. Ah! Easy, Tex. I just pay in my respects to the man who beat me in a fire fight. A fire fight. Oh, I, uh, hello. I'm Gork. A mighty nice laser you got there. I see your custom. I was born with it. I born away the warrior's heart, too. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the tentacles. <laughs> <gasps> I didn't say stop. So that's how it all started. They call it Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? What's that about? Hmm. The world, Gark, is a cruel, hard-hearted place. Blah, 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 blah. Fight, blah, 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 love, blah, blah, wage war. It's all about fighting, love, and waging war. Sounds fun. <sighs> well, I guess you gotta do your duty, Gark. I'm ready to meet my maker. No! Jojo, you're too nice of a guy! Hey! All Max wanted was you out of his fur! Hi, Max! Max! I want you to meet Jojo! Sup, yo! Gark, a moment of your time, please. I wanted to zap him, Max, but he's so cool. I think you'll like him. He's a bloodthirsty freak who's been biting me. I thought it would be nice if he got to experience Valentine's Day, Max. If you're gonna do Vegas, if you're gonna do Vegas, then you gotta do it on the back of an eagle, babe. <laughs> Gark, look at that. Better do something about that, Max. Uh, hey, pal. Uh, go find your own valentine. Hey, Max. Did you know Jojo used to live on an eagle? Back off, bloodsack. Or like my ma used to say, I don't be riding a check with your mouth that your body can cash. I really have no idea what that means. It means we got a classic Valentine's Day fight on our hands. Guys, Ow. why don't we Ow. all Ow. just hang Ow. out, OK? Ah! That really hurt. What do you mean, classic Valentine's Day fight? I told him what you told me about fighting for love. No! I said... Show me what you got there, furball. This is totally unfair. You have all those legs. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Try now, Max. Uh, let's fight. <laughs> Gosh. Gah! You're on my side! No! I'm on the side of romance! Now! Fight! Gonna ask you a question? Ow! Oh, why you hitting yourself? Oh, why you hitting yourself? Oh, why you hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, hitting yourself? Okay, technically I am. Look, I never meant you literally fight for love. Huh? It's an expression! Whoa. Oh. Didn't pick up on that. Does sound a little weird now you think about it. So, um, Max, no hard feelings, buddy. Buddy is my word, and Ransford is my girl. Well, at least Ransford will understand. Right, Ransford? <gasps> oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Max. Well, I wasn't doing very well, was I? Whatever. She couldn't keep up with me on the dance floor. Yeah, if someone can't boogie like Max, it's... Adios, baby! Speaking of which, I reckon it's time for this fella to hit the lonesome road. Gark, shrink me back down, would you? Max, where do you want me? Under the collar. That's not happening, Jojo. Fair enough. I guess I'll head out for the parts unknown. 
who knows, maybe I'll even find a love worth fighting for. Hate to break this to you, Jojo, but you're still a giant, hideous flea. Well, hello, stranger. You're new in town. Well, hello to you. A puncture or something. Oh. I think she's lonely, Max. What gives you the idea? <laughs> oh, you know, little things. <laughs> Betty's buried six husbands, and all but one of them were dead. She shouldn't be so careless. We could find her a new husband. Someone to talk to her, spoil her, scratch her belly. Feed me treats, scratch my ears, change my tray. I like him already. <laughs> Let's find Betty's lucky number seven. Uh, are you sure about this, Max? Trust me. Men like their sausages. Oh, my lucky day. Ooh. Now go! Now! Love, wonderful. It certainly is. Now, help me stuff him in this sack. Am I so very hard to love? <gasps> <gasps> Maxie? She's coming. Bring him round. <laughs> <sighs> what the? Where am I? What are you doing in my apartment? And would you like to go out sometime? Ah! I'm a monster, and I'm out of ice cream. Where are the men who make me laugh like you did, Billy? Or melt me with their eyes, Carlos? Or do that old elastic band trick, Nigel? Oh, they don't make them like that anymore. <gasps> did you hear that? She has the maid for her. We'll make Betty a man. We're not making Betty into a man. She's fine as a woman. I... Oh. We just need some visual aids, Betty's precious memories, assorted ironmongery, and, of course, a beetroot. You have no idea what humans are made of, do you? Nope, but Throckmorton does. Put them together and what have you got? <gasps> the perfect robot man! Yeah, he's a keeper. Apart from having no brain. <gasps> he got a beetroot for a hand! He's remote control! Suit up! Uh, oh. Can I help you? <laughs> Hold on. I'm controlling the limbs, but you're the brains. Fine, if you want to... Request dating sequence. Be 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 be. Oh, real smooth, Gawk. I'm doing my best. Goodness, how forward, Mr... Humanoid Chlorpux. Humanoid Chlorpux. <laughs> I had an uncle named Chlorpux. Come in, Chlorpux. I'm Betty. Max. Be careful! I'm trying! Are you putting me up? Oh, you're a feisty one! <laughs> Such a lovely smile! <laughs> you look so handsome! When can I see you again, Chlorpux? How's tomorrow? What? Good! Pick me up at seven. Oh! Yay! Betty's in love! <sighs> Way to go, Gark. The hardest night of my life. What do you say? Let's do it again tomorrow. No chance. Oh, please, Max. Betty was so happy. This was supposed to be about making my life easier. I'm not doing it. Well, Max, pretty obvious that I've got to clean up your mess again. Hey, that was one time, and I'd eaten a lot of fiber. Not like that. I clearly have the stamina you don't to keep up with Betty. 
I'll take over from here. How, Helmet Head? I thought you couldn't leave the apartment. Neural interface. I can download myself directly into Humanoid. What? That's cheating! Why couldn't we do that? Well, one, you're not... Okay, okay, never mind. It's not like you'll be any good at it. Yeah? Let me show you how a player plays. You can call me Mr. Smooth. Or Daddy. What? If it goes well, you could end up as husband number seven. No way. I like the sound of that. Who's your daddy, Max? Who's your daddy? This is just so amazing. I mean, do you know what it feels like to have hands? I could scratch myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Chlorpux, I've never met anyone who makes me laugh so. And to think, I would never have experienced this had it not been for you. Oh, Pux, he's such a faker. Don't listen to him, Betty. Max, we're doing this for her, remember? <sighs> And the alien says, Black hole? I thought it was a supernova. Mrs. <laughs> 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 Betty Humanoid. That sounds nice. <laughs> Don't even. I never felt so in love. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> Let's go on more dates. Lots of them. Let's never stop. Such darling costumes, Jeanette. You're the best daughter ever. Oh, he's coming. Bish to bish to ba bish to boo. Make room for the groom, yo. You can't seriously be going through with this. Well, Max, at first, this was just a chance to get out and about in this beautiful wide world. But Betty's special, real special. And I've fallen for her big time. I'm the luckiest homunculus alive. It's a tale we've heard a thousand times before. She was a lonely older woman. He was an alien artificial intelligence downloaded into a vegetable cyborg. Don't think of this as losing a friend. Think of it as gaining a daddy. A very cool but strict daddy who demands your respect. This is insane. We got to stop this. Don't be such a cynic, Max. You can't control love. Or can I? Gok, I need you to stall them. Oh, I don't know, Max. Maybe you should sing for them. Do it for love. I'm on it, Max. I'd like to sing something I just wrote for this happy occasion. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Lovely. But can we please start? <laughs> the yoga class has the room from one. Uh, does anyone here present know any just cause or impediment why these two people may not be married? I do. Get away from her, you beat. You are not ruining this for me, you hear? Step away from the Betty. Try, son, but I'm a robot. Get it? <gasps> Come on, Betty. I'm counting on you. What are you doing? Destroy God. Are you seriously trying to crush your best friend to prove a point? Destroy God. God, 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 God. Destroy God. Destroy God. Box. Nobody hurts my babies. No one is off, Mr. Humanoid. Wait. Destroy God! I'm not trying to destroy God! De 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 destroy self destruct in one zero. Yoga time!
Well, all I wanted was someone to pamper me rotten. Result. How can I be lonely when I have you two to spoil? Hope you're hungry, baby. I'm cooking up my special chili. <laughs> and someone to spoil me. <laughs> so everyone got what they wanted. What a happy ending. <sighs> Love stinks. On the other hand, welcome back, you handsome devil. I do the chit ga ga chit go chit ga. I put the pasta gida. Wow.